Okay. So the theme of the stream was goofy or cool. And so that's what I wanted to talk about was these Lego news, Lego rumors in totality. Do we think that these things are goofy or are they cool? Now the Lego insider uh, points thing, I think that's pretty cool. Could it be seen as like a weird marketing gimmick to get us to get our data and give it to them for free? Yes. But I like how I get something back for it. I wish it was maybe 50 points rather than 20 points. But, you know, what can we say? All we can do is complain about it. Then we have the posters. I think those are pretty cute. I don't think those are that goofy. goofy. But you guys will have to let me know down in the comments. Now here we are over to Lego News. The Animal Crossing Wave 1 set images. These, I think, are just plain goofy, okay? <laughs> I don't think there's anything cool about it. Now, maybe that's because I don't have any uh, ties or um, history with Animal Crossing. I've never played the game. I feel like you can't always make sets that are for people who only can resonate with that thing. I should be able to pick this up, think that it's really cute and lovely, and then maybe want to go play the game. That's not what's happening here, okay? It's just plain goofy to me. Someone on Instagram posted a side-by-side -side of um, what they were expecting based off of the Lego Ideas submission or the, the fan submission um, for the Animal Crossing set. And I think it was Tiago who did it. It's a brick sloth set. It is a brick sloth set. Yeah, with these uh, little heads. I think he sloth would like them in his city. But these, the stickers, that is a useful sticker right here. But it seems very watered down compared to what the fan submission was. So to me, it's a goof, all right? These little things, and I get that they're trying to make it like Nintendo cartoonish, but I didn't feel that way with all of the Super Mario sets. I didn't feel that way with the Sonic sets. This just kind of feels watered down. There are definitely some nice elements. I don't want to be super rude because there was a real person behind this design, um, the Lego designer. There was a real team behind this who put thought behind it um, and maybe it's just because the Animal Crossing is geared more towards children that's okay not every set is for us as a fall um, or a falls so I don't know Sonic is cool Mario was pricey in the UK it was not super pricey over here but it just was goofy let's look at some more set images I feel like if you have a certain use for these little weird heads, but to me it just screams modern day uh, Fabuland. Modern day fam Fabuland. That's what it screams to me and maybe that's why they chose to go through with the um, idea set. There is always uh, something in the back of their mind and there's always some sort of reason why they choose the Lego um, idea sets. Maybe they already wanted to kind of revamp a fabul uh, fabuland type of look and so they just went ahead with this this is pretty cute if there was a i i hate um marketing images that aren't truthful this is not gonna float do we get some sort of piece that allows it to look like it's floating like an action piece this is would be too big for a uh, minifigure action piece so we would need something else that would have been nice maybe something that was built off of the chimney or off of the back of the roof here so that this looked like this was uh, a floating present I'm liking these torsos though the ones that don't have the coloring underneath these are nice you can use these. I could use these. Overall, still goofy. Hey, Mr. Cafe. 
He's about to come in. Or maybe he's just gonna work outside. We'll see. This little thing, it's a little cute. I don't know why I would really want it as a minifigure, though. I do like this one's face. And I don't know anything about these characters, so this is just... If I was going into the Lego store and I saw, hey, Animal Crossing, vaguely have heard of it, but would I actually want to buy this set? Maybe this one. Because I'm okay with this little build. Also, I like this. If we zoom in, this little acorn phone thing, that's super cute. And look at this. Oh, you guys may not be able to see it. Let me scroll over here. Yeah. This. This is nice. Once again, torso prints. Loving it. But it, it just feels kind of weird. Maybe I'm not into the, to the whimsical thing. This butterfly is super cute though. So th this is one of those things where maybe I'm just getting older and I only like parts and pieces. I'm only liking parts and pieces about it. Thank you, Streamlabs bot. Little reminder that the Brick Boss Apparel Shop is open. Use the link in the description or in the chat. This thing is creepy though. This little rabbit thing. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. This one is cute. I think I can see a, a certain type of uh, person or builder liking this. I like this little piece. So maybe these are good for uh, bricks and pieces. Right? Or is that Ryan's old podcast name? I can't. No, that was bits and pieces. Bricks and pieces. I like the gold elements. I like gold. Little cupcakes. Mm. It really reminds me of video. Video and Fabuland. Just, just made a little baby and here we are with Lego Animal Crossing. All right, here's the last image. Oh, and it's just all of them put together. Were there some we didn't see? Oh, no, we saw this house. I, I get where they're going with this, with that 3D look, but it's just not for me. Once again, goofy.